I have the privilege this week to be a Camp Rav at a camp in Ohio. And it happened to be that this morning, we only have one car here, so my wife needed the car for something else. So I ended up taking a taxi, just to show you how remote we are. Uber doesn't come here. That's, uh, that's, 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 where we, that's where I am. And as I had to take the taxi, so the driver picks me up in the morning, invites me to come sit up front, making small talk. And he started telling me a little bit about what he did with his life. You know, it's interesting. People often think that it's only taxi drivers in Eretz Yisrael who like to tell stories and say profound things. But I've come to find that it's even taxi drivers in Geneva, Ohio, who have incredibly profound insights and life lessons to offer as well. And this individual was telling me that he was a firefighter paramedic for, I think he said, 25, 30 years. And then he retired and I asked him why he had retired. And he said to me that he had a stroke. And it was only then that I realized that he was driving with his left hand and his right arm was placed passively, was just laying passively down across his lap. And he had explained to me that he had a stroke and as a result, he was paralyzed. He left him paralyzed on a significant part of his right side of the body and therefore was unable to go ahead and continue as a paramedic, as a firefighter. And then he proceeded to tell me that he went on from there to start a transportation company and Baruch Hashem now. I said, I thought he was just a taxi driver but it turns out that he's the owner of the company. And he was telling me about his whole fleet of ambulances, because he's able to, to go ahead and transport people in wheelchairs, and he does busing and charter tours, and Baruch Hashem, his entire fleet. And then he said something incredible to me. He said, you know, because the secret in life is the ability to adapt. He said, sometimes things don't go our way. And when they don't go your way, when they don't follow the plan, you have a choice. You can either spend your time lamenting all that has gone wrong and all that is terrible and the state of disrepair in which you find yourself, or you pivot and you adapt. He said, I chose to adapt and not give up on life. And I was struck and I said, maybe the whole reason you sent me here was just so I should have this one cab drive, this one, this one little episode, this one incredible insight from a simple person, from a simple individual, mamish in the middle of nowhere that sometimes things in life don't go your way, but you have to find a way to adapt. And it struck me that this, in fact, is an idea that is brought down in the Torah. The Pasuk says by Avram Avinu in Parshas Chai Sara, the Avraham Zokin Ba Bayomim. Avram was old, advanced in days. And the obvious Shaila is, of course, old, advanced in days seems to be a bit redundant. So why do you have to have both? And so Rav Sham Shnafal Hirsch says something amazing. Zokin means old. Ba Bayomim means that he was able to adapt to the different stages in life. You see, Avram Avinu was also a man who was used to traveling the world, spreading the word of God, monotheism, anywhere and everywhere. And as he got older, he could not travel as much. As he got older, he was a bit more limited. And so Avram Avinu, as he got old, he had a choice. He could lament his bygone youth. He could lament, ah, oh, what I was able to do, what I used to do, how I used to be able to be so dynamic. Or... He could accept what was and maximize the circumstances he had at hand. Says of Shan Shun Fal Harsh, Amravinu chose the latter. Abraham Zokin Ba Bayomi. Abraham was old, advanced in age. Ba Bayomi means he came with his days. He aged gracefully. We think that aging gracefully means is a, is a din in your wrinkles. If you have more wrinkles, it's not so graceful. Less wrinkles, it is more graceful, but it's not true. Aging gracefully means the ability to adapt to your newfound circumstances in life because of an advanced age, because of an impairment, because of a challenge, because of a handicap, because of a whole variety of things. Avram Zokin, he was old, but lest you think he gave up on life, Ba Bayomim. He aged gracefully because he adapted to his new realities, stopped lamenting what was, and instead found the ability to go ahead and focus and maximize what was. A parallel lesson, simple taxi driver, not so simple taxi driver, taxi cab company owner in Geneva, Ohio, Avram Avinu, Zecher Tzadik V'Kadosh Levracha, both teaching us the same exact lesson. For most of us in life, life doesn't go according to plan. The plans of our youth often don't materialize in our latter stages, but our avod in life is to adapt is to figure out a way to stop complaining about what was, what should have been, and what could have been, and find the koach, find the strength and the courage to maximize what is. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.